I looked at your shears. They really, I mean, there's such a huge improvement in how well they look, how quiet they are, how nice the ride line looks. They're still not cutting wet tissue. And I think what the issue is, so ridiculously simple, you're going to shoot yourself. So I'm going to see if I'm correct in my judgment. So first of all, let me show you how I do the wet tissue test. And this is the same way they do the wet tissue test at the Sharpeners Guild when they do the certification. They wet the tissue. They put the shear underneath the wet tissue. They may wet it after they put it under the tissue, but either way. And then they take something else to move that bottom blade up so there's no side pressure. And can you see it's not cutting? Cuts down to here, but it's not cutting there at the tip. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll hold it up so you can look. Let me cut with the other one. And I'm hoping my assessment of what's wrong with these is right because it's just amazing how close you are to having a perfect shear. Okay, so I'm going to come in here. I'm pulling this bottom blade up. And once again, see it's not cutting. It cuts even worse than the other shear. So, here's what I think is wrong. I'm looking at them really close, and I think you've left a little burr on the outside of the blade. I think that's it. If that's so, nail buffer. This is what you use on the top of your nails. Nail buffer is what you would use to fix this. And I'm going to go over it. I'm using, let's see how to explain how much pressure. About the pressure you would use if you, were, if you had your puppy dog and you were petting his head. You're not trying to rub his hair off. You're just kind of giving a nice little gentle pat. And I'm kind of following the um, that convex shape of the blade on the outside. So I'm following over. You see how I'm doing this? And then I'm going to come back in here flat on the inside. And I'm pushing away from the edge. You see that? Or I guess toward the edge, you know, with it pushing. If there, so if there's a burr there behind. And I might go over it again just to make sure. And I can almost be right angles. I'm almost right angles because I'm not using much pressure at all. I'm not trying to dull out the edge. Same thing here. That way if we've left any teensy tiny microscopic burr behind, it should disappear. All right. Let's see if I'm right. Cross your fingers. I may be wrong. But I'm usually not. Okay, I'm going to put this back in here. I've done the same thing. Nothing's different. No tricks. Please work. Please work. Yeah. Did not work, but it's a little better. This kind of tells me if there's a burr left behind. If I'm running a microfiber cloth along, it'll catch if there's a burr left behind. Not really. Maybe I uh, may be feeling something on that side. Let me check this one that I haven't done anything to. I can definitely feel roughness right here. Definitely feel roughness. And yeah, and I feel roughness right there. Not much. And these both, I know if I cut hair with them, they would cut hair fine. But let's see if this fixes it. Just in case there's some burp left behind. Yeah, I don't think it's going to do it. But see, it's not cut and dry. I think I'm going to sharpen it myself and see if what I do works. Okay, and then we'll kind of know what's going on. So, I'm back to you in a minute. Okay, I've taken these shears. I've gone to my Simac machine, my flat home. I've... Um, I remember you told me you did them at 45 degrees, so I set my degree at like a 44, just barely over. I was using a 1500 grit, worn grit, and without taking them apart, I created a teeny tiny micro bevel on both blades. Um, you would be hard pressed to tell this wasn't a true convex, that there was a micro bevel in it, but it definitely has a burr I can feel all the way down. And I was especially concerned that I got a burr here at the tip. So I'm going to cut my burr off using a paper towel. 
and I find sometimes it's better to do, and you can see, I don't, I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually, the metal has curled off here. Um, you probably can't see that in here, but it, it's kind of cool when you see it come off like a little thread. It's finer than my hair. Teensy tiny. And I'm gingerly coming down to the tip. Doing a few snips. Now I'm going to do another snip. Still quiet as they can be. I can take my microfiber cloth. Check it and see if I feel any burrs. Nope, don't feel any burrs. Now, let's see. Now, if this works, I'm thinking what the problem was is somehow it may be in the polishing. You round it over the edge or possibly whatever type of plate you're using to sharpen the shears is a little bit too cushiony. Um, not having seen how you sharpen, I don't know. So I'm going to do the same thing. I've wet my tissue. I'm putting the shear here. And let's see how this one cuts. Perfect. Perfect. This is how I test. I have my tissue. It's wet. I take my shear. I open it up. I pull my thumb out. I lay this blade in the tissue. And then I slowly, because slow catches things that fast doesn't catch. 